that's on period. It's the for me. Not me acting right now. In the last decade or is so. She, she was totally making fun of all these. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 So let's dive in, everybody. What exactly is AAVE? Let's get into in the, the bone of it. Terms, yeah. It's the way that many black Americans communicate with one another that has evolved and continues to evolve right. over the last few centuries. So what do you call the hillbilly talk? I wonder. If AAVE is what labels are this kind of, uh, I guess, wording for when you speak and when you write. What about, you know, all the, all the people who are living in the countryside where they almost sound like they're speaking their own unique language you know like hot diggity dog <laughs> <laughs> that sheep's butthole is looking mighty neat right now <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to i don't know how to speak in their uh vernacular english <laughs> i forgot what aabe stands for huh yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this this way of speaking has its own label, -E, I guess. You would drop the is and just say Nadine going shopping. In A B E, you might hear someone say X instead of traditional ass or library instead of library. This is called metathesis, which involves switching around sounds and words. Although metathesis is a part of the dialect, non A B E speakers often make fun of it and or discredit it. Unfortunately, it's not common for this metathesis to be corrected in schools. Doesn't that mean it's you know? It's, it, AAV is trend setting. I, I guess you can capture it in a negative way too. I don't know. I don't know. If other people are using it, you know, together with you, even if it's like to make fun of it or not, it's it's like a first step towards acceptance, in it. Isn't that how it worked culturally? Like outside of uh, this whole war that we're fighting internally in America right now. People who dismiss AAVE as an internet phenomenon for young people are actually erasing over 400 years of culture, heritage, and linguistic development. AAVE speakers have been historically discriminated against and left out of many educational, social, and political spaces because of the way we speak, whether intentionally or not. How we describe AAVE can influence how its heritage lives on. Shade. AAVE speakers have been historically discriminated against and left out of many educational, social, and political spaces. Left out of many educational, social, and political spaces? Why do you want it in there? I thought... You wanted to keep it unique. I don't get it. So she wants she wants AAV to be socially accepted whilst not making it mainstream. Do you want to have a cake and eat it too? What? Uh, what am I not understanding? Am I? I'm stupid. No, I don't. I don't understand what she's saying. We're just saying where where I'm from. Uh, we say use as in the plurals of you, uh, which is incorrect technically. But I never got taught that in until high school. Right, right, right. And I don't know. Like language is ever evolving, right? I feel like there's no such thing as incorrect way of speaking things as long as the other side understands what you're trying to imply, right? Oh Andre was saying white teachers might want to prohibit the use of this type of English because they might uh, they might think it's wrong English. But what is right English? Because I think UK would consider American English as a mistake, right? Like, wh what is a correct... What even is a correct way to speak? If you can communicate with body language, do we really need words? But we obviously we can't, that's why we need words, but you know. Mm. American spelling is just wrong. You know what I mean? Like biscuits, we we can't agree with what is biscuits, right? <laughs> what else? We can't agree with uh, what's the other stuff? Like thongs, right? We can't agree on what a thong is. Cause when I say thongs, I'm not talking about underwear. I'm talking about them flip-flops that Americans call. Yeah, that's a thong for me. 
<laughs> How to spell color? Color is correct. Yeah, flower, right? Neighbor. Right, Andre is saying, yes, you're right, but teachers can uh, end up being jerks without realizing. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, you wear your underwear on your feet? No. It, it's thongs because it does kind of look like, you know, your f your feet are wearing thongs. <laughs> so it does derive from that. But when we say thongs, we don't really mean thongs. If we say budgie smugglers, we're not really saying that, you know, you're trying to smuggle a budgie. It just means that... When you wear speedos, your pee pee looks like, you know, you, you stuffed budgies in there. You know? So it, it kind of looks like budgie smugglers. So we're actually referring to speedos. When people are wearing speedos, they're wearing budgie smugglers. All right? But doesn't matter. It does not matter. Because <laughs> you understand what we're trying to say. You know? All right, crisps. Crisps and chips. Right? Because... Australians refer to chips as, um, like, french fries, too. And, like, bag of chips is also, uh, chips as well. Yeah. And, yeah, Wedge, what do you mean by crips, though? Are you talking about the... <laughs> Are you talking about the gang? Hmm? <laughs> Are you part of the crips? <laughs> Wedge, Wedge was more gangster than I thought. Well, it's Andre is saying, no thongs are used to cover your pelvic, pelvic area, pelvis. Yeah. Now I want to see you in speedos. You mean budgie smugglers. Right, and Andrew was saying, accept your ass for some reason. I wish I knew what that context was. <laughs> or maybe, maybe Andrew just enjoys talking about ass, who knows. Right? I have mixed opinions on this. How did I end up on this video? I don't know about having to be conscious of, you know, where the language originated from. I mean, I think it's good to do that. Like, considering where it came from, there's a lot of hardships. Yeah, like, throughout history of how this language came to be. I get it, I get it. It's just, um, to be... To feel threatened by, you know, other people using that, I feel, I feel like that's a good thing that people are using it. Even if they don't realize where it came from, right? And you need a catalyst like her to spread the word of where it originated from, I get that. Before we get started, make sure to- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Not that far. Um, yeah, okay, okay. Something- Something about what she said it's bothers that me. It's do not forget the historic mistreatment of people who speak this dialect. From slavery, to the Civil War, to the Reconstruction Era, to Jim Crow, to- I think every dialect has a history, no? Like, if we're diving really deep, where did English originate from? How did it come to be? Wedge what? <laughs> what do you mean? <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so Andre is saying there are friendships and hardships, indeed, absolutely, absolutely. We're just saying French was originally spoken in the UK, I think. So it started off with French, and then did it evolve into English, or hmm. So France was leading the change, huh? Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I can't word how I feel right now after listening to that. Like, I, f I have all the respect, though, you know, for how and where that language originated from. I get it. Like, I use some of them sometimes, depending on the situation. Andre is saying English and German come from Anglo-Saxon languages. Anglo-Saxon. Wedge is saying I don't know. I don't know how. What? <laughs> Wedge, what? <laughs> Hold on. I don't know. Know the history, so I I. 
I just look. <laughs> you wanna know? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I thought I thought I was having aneurysm. All right, so what you saying? Anglo-Saxon means English, doesn't it? It's um, it's the white race, no? Anglo-Saxon, not just the language, isn't it? I don't know, no. <laughs> uh huh. Right, so yeah, way to start off the first part of the stream. 2022 is coming up very soon, guys. We're just saying the Anglo Saxons were a cultural group who inherited England in the early Middle Ages. There you go. Hmm. So, like early English people. Andre saying, no, a German, German come from the same Anglo Saxon background. And then we're just saying, does it? Yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> this is not my expertise. I'll believe anything that I get told. Anglo-Saxon. I didn't even know about Auschwitz. Like, I knew I knew what happened in World War II, but I didn't know, you know, what the camps were named and etc. I didn't take that kind of history lesson. Or maybe I wasn't paying attention, who knows. At least I'm open-minded. <laughs> 